How to Think Like Einstein. Big idea, keep moving. So from Einstein, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Now it's funny because people, they want things, they have dreams, they have aspirations. Maybe they spend some time thinking about, maybe in the, their imagination they think, oh, that'd be great to be famous or have money or do whatever. And then the ones that even want it and are actually trying to work towards it, it's actually amazing how little planning and forethought people put into their goals. There's even research that shows in documenting uh, knowledge workers and just people in general and asking them questions about what they work on, their goals, et cetera. This research points almost across the board to the fact that most people spend not even 20% of their time on the things they actually want to achieve. And this falls in line with the 80-20 principle. The fact that about 20% of what we do contributes to 80% of our results, yet we only spend about 20% of our time on those things that contribute 80% of the results. So the goal you want to get to is spending as much time on the 20% that's going to give you all the results and just invest as much energy as you can into it. How this applies to the quote today is the idea that if you don't keep moving while also learning and course correcting along the way, you're not going to get to where you want to go. This seems obvious. It should be something I don't even have to talk about. Have you actually, you watching right now, have you actually written out your goals and then connected them to what you're going to do today? Like literally, what is on your to-do list today or your work list that you're going to do that's going to move you toward to accomplishing your goals? If you're like 99% of people, you probably won't even do anything today that's going to move you towards your goals. Or maybe you'll spend 30 minutes here or you send a couple emails, you do like one thing. It doesn't come easy. I'm not berating you. You got to keep this in mind. This stuff is something you have to learn. This is a skill. Accomplishing things in our world today is a skill. It's not it just... It doesn't just come to you naturally. You're not just born with it. Although some people are born with certain propensities that help them do good today, you have to cultivate the skill. You have to keep moving. You have to realign what you're doing. Constantly ask yourself questions about which direction you're heading and then course correct over and over and over again. The good analogy is the plane. So, so when a plane takes off and an autopilot gets engaged, well, they've, they've shown that a plane is only on course correctly, like a small percentage of the time. So what is the computer doing? It's constantly moving the plane back into the direction it needs to go. You're constantly course correcting. Think about a car you're driving. If you take your hand off the wheel, where does the car go? It very quickly veers off the side of the road. And so what are you doing with your hands? You're constantly going like an inch left, an inch right. You know, you're just, you're just kind of without even thinking about it, you're course correcting the entire time. If you're not doing that, how are you going to get to the grocery store? How are you going to get back home? Are you just going to get in your car and turn the engine on? Put your foot on the pedal and just see what happens? Obviously not, but that's what people do in their lives. They think, I want to do this. I want to be famous. I want to have business. I want to, I want to have money. I want to blah, blah, blah. And they have no freaking clue how they're going to do that. Some people might set like a year goal and that's like a good start where they want to accomplish something within a year. But then what, what are you doing this month? You know, what's your goal for this week? What's your goal for today? What's the one thing you're going to accomplish every single day that's going to help you get to that one-year goal? Very, very, very few people can answer this question. In fact, I would recommend as a thought experiment to just see how not ubiquitous it is in our culture today. Ask your friends, like, so what are your goals? What are you trying to accomplish? Oh, cool. What, what about this year or this month? Do you have any goals that you're trying to get through? See what they say and keep asking more questions to you get down to the point where, what are you doing today for that? Or, oh, this is a good one. I always, I always, I remember, I always remember this one. It's so telling and so powerful. I'm surprised people don't talk about it more, but whether you like Ty Lopez or not, he's got some, he, he, he has some good things to say. And one of these things that was so telling to me was the fact that he lives in LA. He's always hanging out with like uh, aspiring actors and models and things like that, right? Everybody, you know, a lot of people in LA are trying to break into show business. So he asked them, oh, you're trying to be an actor? Okay, cool. Well, how much did you practice yesterday? And they kind of look at him like, what do you mean practice? Well, if you want to be an actor and your craft is acting, how much did you practice your craft yesterday? And he kind of says, like, most people don't have an answer to that question. Why? Like, why is this not so obvious? Whatever you want to be great at, you have to be practicing or doing daily. You have to be building. That's why they say overnight success is 10 years in the making. They usually say that for musicians, right? Because musicians at least get that they have to be really good at what they do. They have to go over and over and over and over again. Song after song after song, song chord after chord after chord. But acting is one of these things like people just have this fuzzy idea about, well, you just make it or you don't. And it's about who you know, right place, right time. But that's just nonsense. Nobody becomes a famous actor without investing in their craft. It just doesn't happen. So the question is, where are you moving today towards? And how are you course correcting along the way? If you want to keep your balance, you got to keep moving. But if you want to take that bike 
and where you're moving to go someplace where you want to go, then you got to course correct, right? So you have to do both of these. The only reason that Einstein was able to do what he did is because years and years and years of challenging the status quo and asking questions. And he challenged two of the main ideas at the time in physics that were basically assumptions that other physicists were assuming was the fact. But then he asked himself, well, what if time wasn't constant? And when he was able to either prove that through, I don't know exactly how he did it because you can't really do experiments. Maybe you can, but it was basically like a thought experiment. And he was able to figure out that time is relative. And time is relative became the thing that revolutionized physics and everything else since then has basically been built on top of it. But he had to go deeper than what they were assuming at the time and ask himself, well, what are these assumptions right or not? This was years and years and years of questioning and doggedly pursuing his desire to understand the basics of the universe. If he just accepted it, that was that, and he couldn't figure it out and he just moved on to something else, well, we wouldn't have E equals MC squared, which a lot of things are built on, like the computer revolution, silicon, et cetera. So you got to keep moving. That's the only way you keep your balance. When you stop, when you become immobile, stationary, well, you're not going anywhere. So how are you going to get to where you want to go? Right? Obviously, right? But how are you going to course correct? How are you going to learn? How are you going to pivot and adapt? These are the things that are part of success in life. If you want exceptional, if you want an exceptional life, you keep going, you maintain your balance, and you move that bike or that car or that airplane in the directions you want it to go. You point it at the thing you want to be going towards and you keep pointing it at that over and over and over again as your body and your brain try to swerve off the road or veer off course. This is it. This is all it is. In fact, like a skill to develop is becoming obsessed with what you're doing. Like become obsessed with how you're spending your time and what you're working on. Become obsessed with saying no to the stupid things that don't matter or things that pull you off course. Become obsessed every day. What am I working on? Have I put my two hours of deep work in towards the thing I want? Or am I just kind of like responding to email and doing crap? Most people are in the latter category. They just respond to things that come up. They have no real direction. They're not building things. They're not stacking layer upon layer like a bricklayer would. So how the hell are they going to build a house? Laying a bunch of bricks in all these different places. That's going to be it for today. Like, subscribe, share, do all those things. You can find us on iTunes, Google, YouTube, all those places. You can follow me over at Colin Stuckard on Instagram. And hop on the AM5 newsletter if you haven't already over at Colin.coach. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey, hey, Colin here. Before I let you go, make sure you go over to Colin.coach to hop on the AM5 newsletter so you can get a list of all the shows as well as some of my best content from the week before. You can go to Colin.coach to get that now. If you'd like to support the show, you can go over to Patreon.com slash Colin Stuckard and you can see some of the membership options, a small monthly donation to help support the work here and join me in my quest to build better humans using big ideas as well as promoting health through the Ancestral Mind podcast. I appreciate the support. And if you have any questions or comments, you can send me an email directly to Colin at wildfoods.co. This show is also sponsored by Wild Foods Co. Real foods, superfood ingredients from small producers around the world. These are the products I use and trust on a daily basis. You can use code WILDCEO for 12% off your entire order over at wildfoods.co.